Columbia's Public Safety Committee met today to discuss new rules about smoke and vape shops. This ordinance would require shops to place physical warnings for all CBD or THC products. News 19 Zoe Henry has the story. The Columbia Public Safety Commission drafted a proposed ordinance that requires stores to display a physical warning. The sign must tell customers looking to consume cannabis products that the product could cause a failed drug test. And that sign must also be 50% the size of the CBD display. You know, what's happening out there is everybody's advertising these products and, and they're they appear to be legal to sell in South Carolina, but nobody's talking about the downside. And City Councilman Joe Taylor is talking about cannabis-related products like THC, Delta 8 or 9, and CBD, all found in smoke or vape shops. Connie Jackson with Crown Town Cannabis says these products are classified as full spectrum and broad spectrum. Okay, full spectrum contains the full legal limit of THC, which is point, which is 0.3%. Um, broad spectrum contains only CBD, it's no THC in there at all. While these products are legal in South Carolina, Taylor says that doesn't mean there aren't consequences. And they're doing this stuff and failing a workplace drug test or, or, or failing a, test, a drug test at school. And, and like I say, I think we have a responsibility to make sure, just like you have a warning on a cigarettes pack. Connie says while testing is a factor, people use these products for more than just recreation. Even though it might be helping them with anxiety and pain and things like that. Taylor adds the point of the ordinance is to ensure people know that these products can show up on a drug test. In Columbia, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. That ordinance will now go before the full council at next week's city council meeting. CBD is an active ingredient in marijuana. It isn't the part of marijuana that can make a person quote unquote high. It has a calming effect that's used to treat several illnesses. Supporters say it is helpful in treating anxiety and chronic pain. Delta 8 is one product you could find at a smoke shop that could make you fail a drug test. Delta 8 THC breaks down the same way that standard THC does, meaning it could show up on a drug test appearing as marijuana. While it's technically legal under state law, SLED and the Attorney General argue that Delta 8 is not covered under the Hemp Farming Act and should be illegal. 